What's up guys, Stein back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be talking about keeping your head up at all times. Everyone knows the song by Tupac called Keep Your Head Up. And it's a very, very important song, important message just to always have that positive outlook on life. Keeping a strong and positive mental framework on what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Because there are so many negatives out of life that we could that we could focus on. You know, you you focus on all the negatives, and your life sucks. But if you focus on all the positives, then you can be grateful. And focus on the things that are good in your life. Now, obviously, you do need constructive criticism in order to get better at the things that are negative in your life. But by doing both, by being grateful of your positivity and also having constructive criticism on the negatives in your life, then you will be able to grow and be a better person for not only yourself, but others as well. You'll be able to help other people and yourself if you follow those principles, keeping your head up, keeping a positive outlook on life, never slowing down, never stopping, never taking anything for granted because, you know, you got to be in the moment all the time. You have to be in the moment at all times, focusing on the present, focusing on what you can control. If you're not focusing on what you can control, then, you know, why are you paying any attention to it? For example, you know, you can control certain things in your life, but there's other things you can't control that are outside your control. Don't worry about those things. Only worry about what you can control. So if you have those negative thoughts that come to mind, ask yourself what you can control in that moment. I can control this, 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 and this. So many things you can control, and there's also so many things you can't control. Focus on what you can control, because that's the only thing that's gonna change your life indefinitely. Things you can't control is just a mere luck. All it is is luck, you're betting on luck, you're betting on things that are gonna happen when you don't have a realistic outlook on certain things that are going to help you. Never bet on luck. Never bet on things that will take away from your happiness, you know. Always ask yourself every day, like, what would make me happy? Like, what do I need? What do I want? What do I actually want out of life? If you ask yourself these questions, you can take the actionable steps every day to get you closer to that. Because you do not want to be miserable in life. And there's so many people out there who aren't living lives what they really want. So that's the overall goal of this channel is personal development and self-improvement is to help people live better lives, to make better decisions to actually be grateful of where they are, to make decisions that actually help them. Don't make decisions that hurt you. Make decisions that better your life, better the people around you's life. If you can do that, you'll find yourself. You'll find yourself making decisions that have habitual effects on one another. You make a good decision, then you make another good decision, then you make another good decision. And then it'll compound effect. And this is why when I hear people say, oh, it's not that bad to have one drink, or it's not that bad to eat this bad food one time. Like people say, oh, moderation. But like in reality, that's not even closely true to what reality is. And the reality is that if you do engage in that activity, the bad food, the drinking, you're going to be more adaptable, adaptable to engage in that activity the next day, the next two days. Like It's just a compounding effect. If you do something once, if you're lazy once, it's going to be easier to be lazy again. But if you work, if you put in work, it's going to be easier to put in work the next time and the next time. You just keep on pushing through. And sooner or later, later, your habits just take over. You're not even doing anything at that point. It's just your habits taking over. And you're just basically 
you know, in Ed Milet's book, he's talking about, you know, 40% of your things that happen in your life is just habitual. Like, you're creating habits for yourself. You're not even thinking about it. So you need to create positive habits. Do what's right. Do what you know is right in your heart every single day. Make consistent action. Improve your life. That's the video I have for you today. If you like the video, like the video, comment in the comment section, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and we'll see you in the next video.